It's October! And today we're going to draw a tarantula! For this drawing, you're going to need a piece of paper and you can use gel pens Pen, regular pens or colored pencils if you'd like and we're using browns, golds, gray, black, and green. To start we're going to grab our gold and we're going to draw two little circles right next to each other. That's our spider eyes. Mine is the wolf. <laughs> Then we're going to grab our green yep. and we're going to draw a U, a U in the gold like that. And then we're going to finish the circle with the green U going around like that. And then we're going to draw... Hey, Mommy, where's the lid? Right here. Okay. Oh, i got to wait for you. <laughs> okay. So you're going to complete the circle. Run around and around and see that part's green. Okay. And then we can go under that a little bit like this. Under it? Yep. And then we're going to draw a curve and a curve that and then kind of like it's a moon we're going to go up around that curve just following it like that this one's kind of messy okay and then you like fill it in with your pen that equals is a spider's your eye spider eye Okay, this is really fun now. Okay, we're going to draw little hairs. Little hairs. And then go around the eye with the hairs. The little tiny, tiny hairs. It's looking cute right now, but soon it'll not be really cute. <laughs> and mom's have gone on my face. Yep. Now those were short hairs. Let's make a couple more short hairs right here. The V shape. And we're going to make some long hairs. Ready for the long hairs up here on the top of the head? Such a yeah. cute spider. So some long hairs like this. It's kind of fun just to see how different we make our hairs because we're all different so we'll make them different. And then just go to the side of the eye like that. And you can curve them kind of like their eyelashes. Okay. Now down here is and you have one circle, one circle, two circle. I'm a little baby. <laughs> and then right here you have a circle, so it's not quite under it. And then on the other side. And then we're going to draw a curve like this and a curve like that. Okay, and the circles you're just going to color a little bit in them. Like that. Leave a little white showing. And then you're going to make little hairs go around each of those circles. So it goes in and then up and around, in and then up and around, and then in again. But you're doing short strokes instead of making a continuous line. And then inside of these you're just going to make long strokes. And then I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Long ones? Yep. Long ones and those ones. Okay. So now you're going to make the cheeks. I guess they're cheeks. And they go like that. And like that. And then on the like side of the eye. Curves around the eye. It looks just like that. Kind of. Okay, and then you're going to make hairs on it. 
And the hairs can go outside of those lines. Spiders are actually really hairy, and then you can make other short hairs inside of that cheek. Surprising how hairy they are. Lines that go on the outside like this. Okay, and then just kind of bring this line up here like that with a few little lines. Okay, then you're going to make a line of short strokes. Like that. And then another little line of really small, like dots almost. Okay, inside of this area is oranges and yellows. So you can just come in here and make little short strokes again because it's hairy. But it's not this black color. Little strokes. Now you can make brown ones. Where's the brown ones? <laughs> okay. Alright, underneath this is two large, like it's like a W, but you're going to use hairs, so you're going to do stroke W's. I used to do this because when I make my... And my, another stroke W with lines. Because when I make draw my imaginary form, I have to do this. Oh, okay. And then draw some little strokes in the middle like this. And then you fill the rest in with brown. Because it's actually brown inside there. I need, I need a brown that works. Here's the brown right here. Okay, this one. And just make little short strokes for hairs. Okay, and that same color goes down here, like above that line. Fills in that white. Okay, well that was the hardest part, I promise. Now you can do the legs. So you're going to start one of the legs right here with the segment, so that means Maybe. a short rectangle, okay, like that. No. No. Okay, and then one that goes on the other side as well. Okay, And then a curve line curves in, and another one that follows that, okay, and then a line goes like this kind of starts right there and it's like a oval kind of shape but it's like that and then another segment like that and then a long one and this one's pointy like that that's your leg so now we'll do it on this side Curved in, curved in, stops, okay, shape kind of like that, looks like an almond, ends at the end, another segment, and it doesn't matter that they look exactly alike, or they go the exact same direction, and then once you have, see, one, two, three, four on the end, one, two, three, and you have your pokey thing. Okay, and you can make these hairy by just doing this. Hairy, hairy, hairy. Just a few, it doesn't have to be a lot. So now we have another leg. Oh, we got to finish the hair on this one. You finish the hair that fast? All right, I better. Okay, now we have another leg that comes up like this, and the other one comes up. Okay. okay. And we're just gonna make it into one segment, so make it kind of like a long almond. Okay, and then it goes down, forms a little segment. Not that mommy. This one's being not fully nice to me. Can I get a new one? <laughs> okay. 
And another one. These are just rectangles. Oh, I missed one. Oh man, we're having pen problems here. One more. Let's see. That one should work. If you guys want to donate for pens, that would be great. So <laughs> you can become a patron. Okay, and then another segment. And so one, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then go ahead and make them have hairs too. This one's not, this one. That one's not working too. Don't press no, too hard. No, these this one's the thin type that bends over and goes. Oh, like don't this. press too hard. Because it'll ruin it. Add hair. some strokes in there. This is a really good practice for adding strokes. Okay. Another segment going down. And then another one. And then just three this time. One, two, three. Okay. Give them hairs. Sure, you don't need a different pen? No. So. Give it hairs. Okay, and then the last leg comes under this one, so it's going to be right next to it. I'm kind of show it there. And then it comes through that one. Or behind that one, I mean. Okay. And the same thing over here. Comes behind this one. That's the segment. Okay. And then it comes down like this to make that almond shape. And then another little segment off of that one. Yeah. And what? Another one? Yep. And then you're going to have four again. So one, two, three, and then a pointy one. That's it. Add the hairs. That looks just like a tarantula. Sign your work. It's a pretty cool spider, huh? A hairy, hairy spider. <laughs> oh, and draw a line going up. Here's our finished tarantula. We hope you had fun. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you tomorrow for another Halloween art project. Bye. Bye. I will go to Great Come on. Sit, 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 sit. Welcome to Create for All. And today, what are we going to do, Mommy? What are, what? <laughs> Get that thing off of home. <laughs> We're going to draw a tarantula. Okay. It's October. And today, we're going to draw a tarantula. No, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. No, you don't. Hey, guys, <laughs> what's my face?